Welcome to Gray on Map. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a set of squares, uh, six, a square with a side of six and a square with a side of four for the smallest and a bigger square. And in this bigger square is drawn a blue triangle and the topmost part of this blue triangle is also the uh, 90 degree angle I mean it coincides with this point and from this point is drawn a line to the topmost parts of the square and we are to find the area of the blue triangle okay so for our solution is we are going to draw a line horizontally from this point and we stop there and we draw a line downwards from the topmost part of this triangle okay and next is we draw a horizontal line okay so since the given are squares then the other side should be this six and for this square, the smallest square, we have 4. So notice that the, this side and this side actually form a right triangle against this, this hypotenuse or the, that line, that segment. So it is actually similar to this smaller triangle right triangle and we see that this has actually size of six units and four units seg or these segments so we can label this length as this as 2a and this as 3a to make it in proportion with the six unit segment and the four unit segment being similar with the triangle at the top okay so this will be 2a also this length 2a so if that is 2a and since this largest square is 10 because the sides are 6 plus 4 if you combine them this is 6 and this is 4 so the side is 10, so this is 10. So this will be actually 10 minus 2a. And next is we get this distance. This distance is actually 10 or 4. This is actually 4. Okay, so next is we focus on these two triangles, this triangle. The base is actually 10 minus 2a. So let us label this as, this is actually 10, 10 minus 2a. And the height is actually 3a. And next is we focus on this triangle this one so the base is actually 2a and the height is 3a okay so the shaded blue and the red triangle are actually similar because they are derived from a, a right triangle and their hypotenuse is the side of the square and they have a common Altitude on hypotenuse, which is 3a, and that we can say that all the angles are similar. Okay, so next is we focus on this red and the blue triangle. So for the red, the shorter leg is actually 3a. We divide this by the longer leg, which is 10 minus 2a, equal to this blue rectangle and the shorter leg is 2a 
in the longer leg is 3a. And we can cancel this out, this a. So we cross multiply, we have 10 minus 2a times 2 is actually equal to 9a. So we have 10 times 2 is 20 minus 4a is equal to 9a. So if we put this 4 to the right hand side, we have 13a is equal to 20. So we divide both sides by 13. So we have a is equal to 20 over 13. Okay, so next is we draw a line from this point and we form this triangle. And also we form this triangle, this area. And we can actually shear these two triangles. And if we shear that, we can draw it like this uh, one with the shaded on the bottom and on the top is the blue and a part is shaded as red. Okay, so if we focus on the triangle at the top, we have the base as area is equal to one half times the base, which is 10 minus 2a plus 2a, and that will be 10 times the height, which is 3a plus 4. And for the triangle at the bottom, we have positive one half times the base, which is 10 minus 2a, then the height is actually 2. Because this distance is actually 2. From 6 minus 4, the height of the difference in height of the second largest square and the smallest square. So simplifying this, we have Area is equal to 5, so it becomes 5 times 3, 15, A plus 20. Okay, then this becomes, cancels out, so we have plus 10 minus 2A. So we have now 30, area is equal to 30. Then plus 13a, if you combine this, this becomes 13. Okay, so but earlier we got a to have a value of 20 over 13. So we simply substitute that value 30 plus 13 times 20 over 13. And this 13 on the numerator and the denominator cancels out. So we have 30 plus 20, so area is equal to 50 square units, and that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon, so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.